skills unit 2 that is the awareness and management of information technology broadly we are going to discuss what is corporate awareness what is information technology governance information system strategy we will see the process improvement and maturity concept we will see IT investment and allocation practices we will see policies and procedures we will see risk management how to do how to identify risk how to prioritize how to process we will see information system management practices information system organizational structures and responsibility what are the main jobs in terms of IT who is responsible for what how we break information systems in organizational structure we will discuss auditing IT governance structure implementations it's very important for a business to have a contingency management, BCM business continuity management and crisis planning. So we'll see what is business continuity planning. We'll see auditing business continuity. This is the scope of today discussion. We'll start with co corporate awareness for large, large organization. It's very, very important to have the corporate awareness, effective policies, procedures, clear structuring between board and management, allocation of policies, procedure, reporting, independence of audit functioning. This is all we discuss in corporate awareness. Ethics is the very important thing when we bring corporate awareness. So, what are the ethical issues? Then why we take decision making, overall practice with an organization, business ethics, organizational ethics, information security, system ethics has to be taken great care. Corporate governance, how we define is a system by which business corporations are directed and controlled, how effectively we manage and how we run the show in terms of effective management framework is being increasing by the government bodies because after the scandals have been Oxley, Sox, corporate governance has become a necessary need of every organization uh, we want to improve the financial reporting and we provide transparent transparency and accountability in terms of operations Many of the government organization regulations include requirement that senior management should sign off that their internal controls are effective, adequate and include an assessment of organizational internal controls in terms of financial reports. So when we make an internal audit department, it makes sure that things are adequate, effective, system are aligned with the organizational objectives and senior management give the assurance uh, it, uh, to the business operations uh, internal by placing corporate governors where we bring audit committee and we make internal audit department reportable to them and keep an eye and check on the adequacy of the system. This brings day-to-day uh, -day efficiency and achieve organizational objectives. When we talk about IT governance, it implies a system in which all stakeholders, including the board, internal customers, and departments such as finance, they provide input in the decision making process. So, when we have the latest ERP systems, which integrated with one central database, we have certain modules like accounts payable, receivable, inventory, finance certain other information technology tools how we link together to make things more effective efficient is all the part of IT governance IT governance is about the stewardship of the IT resources on behalf of the stakeholders that we have purpose of IT governance is to direct IT endeavors to ensure 
that performance meet the objectives and we get overall objectives of our organization by bringing effective IT governance in the systems. IT governance focus on four major areas. One area is strategic alignment. When we say strategic, this is long term. You, you see ahead the growing expansionary need of your organization. You see what is required, what information and enhancements we are looking for. So we see the strategic alignment in terms of our time framework, we see the resources as of today, what will be the requirement after a certain period of time, are we capable to do that, these are the concerns that management keep in consideration while doing IT awareness. When it comes to value delivery, it's about executing the value propositions throughout the delivery cycle, ensuring that IT deliver the promised benefits. So when it comes to value, value is that our perceived benefits are more and the perceived cost is less and this IT governance is really delivering the perceived benefits to us. Risk assessment is a very important part of uh, governance. It, 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 is, it can be an IT governance, and it can be a corporate governance, but keeping in view the effective best practice for governance, we should have an effective risk management system in our company, in our organization, in our corporation. It should ad address how to identify the risk, how the risk can be prioritized, organized, what possible responses we have for the risk, how can we mitigate risk, what could be the possible frameworks we can brought in, like an enterprise risk management, or what kind of frameworks we can adopt to have an effective corporate governance. In terms of resource management, we should have effective resources because resources should be sufficient, it should be according to the it should be capable to give you adequate assurance in terms of your corporate governance, especially when you talk about IT resources, human resources and competency and capabilities. Performance measurement, we should have three key criteria already established so we can see the performance of our governments, we can track and monitor strategies, we can implement product, we can see project completions, resource usage, process performance and service delivery by having an effective information systems. While working on IT, we have a balanced scorecard uh, as we have in our performance scorecards, that way if we want to check the performance of a company, we see what are the financial, non-financial parameters. Same way when it comes to IT balance scorecard is a process management evaluation technique which will focus on assessing IT function and processes. And when we do, we work on three layered structure by addressing that do, what is our mission, what is our strategy, long run, short run, medium term? What are the measurement criteria we have? And what are the sources of these uh, information systems? This is what is covering in the balance scorecard. 